Gauguin found living with Van Gogh very, very difficult. The two artists were very, very different people. Gauguin hated living in Arles. He said it was the filthiest hole in the South. He really disliked it. And they were beginning to get on each other's nerves. Then the weather deteriorates. Wind starts blowing, it starts getting cold and rainy. They have to work indoors, which means they're working in one small room. Van Gogh is probably talking quite a lot of time and pacing up and down as another of his habits when working. Gauguin is trying to concentrate, and after a while, things get more and more tense. They would argue about art. They would argue about cooking, the best way to cook tomatoes, even. They argued about everything. Van Gogh scared Gauguin. It's been said that Gauguin recalled how he would be asleep in his bed and he'd wake up and Van Gogh would be standing over him, staring at him as, while he was in bed asleep. It didn't take long for everything to come to a head. Something on December 23rd pushed him over the edge. What Gauguin said afterwards is he was just so bizarre I couldn't stand it anymore. Gauguin said, that's it, I've had enough, I'm leaving, I'm going back to Paris and I'm going, I won't be coming back. Van Gogh has such a volatile temper. It just escalated, it went crazy. Gauguin ran out into the street and Van Gogh followed him with his razor. The two men continued to scream at each other until Gauguin took refuge in a hotel. Van Gogh stormed back to the Yellow House and, still holding his razor, sliced off a chunk of an ear. He wrapped up his ear in newspaper, put a beret on to dis disguise his wound and took it off to the brothel where he left a, a door for a certain employee who, who went on to the name of uh, Rachel, uh, went back to his house, uh, got into bed and passed out. 